Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Levine, and welcome to today's video on how to use the layout editor uh, within AEM. So the overall purpose of the layout editor is to kind of uh, tell the page uh, how to react to smaller screen sizes or just to different screen sizes in general. So as we are taking a look at, uh, we have the structure of our page. So we are in the template editor uh, within AEM. And uh, so we're looking at the structure of a template I've already created. And as you can see, uh, this is going to be useful for a article page uh, where we have, you know, the main content right in this left hand side. It takes up majority of the page. Uh, then we have a sidebar uh, that will contain other things where our users can share a story or check out other um, articles on our website. And this viewing experience is probably going to be uh, most enjoyed on or when the user is browsing a website on their desktop. But if they were to view this on a smaller screen size, because of the smaller screen, we don't want you know that sidebar to take up the little screen space available. We want that sidebar to probably move to the bottom or right below uh, this main piece because that's going to contain our article and all that. And I've already finished this, so I kind of want to show you guys the final result. So if I go to a iPad view in my emulator, we can see that the sidebar shifts down uh, below that main content page or the main content area. And that's what we're going to be uh, doing today. So let's get started. All right, I'm back and I've recreated uh, that template. So as we look at it, you know, we have, we saw the main container on the left hand side or left hand side of the page. And then we saw that sidebar on uh, the right. And w one thing I want to illustrate real quick uh, before we actually uh, change the layout is to actually show what it would look like in its current state on smaller screen sizes. So if I go to an iPad, uh, we can still see that sidebar is still taking up some of that precious smaller screen space. Uh, and even on a smaller phone, it's still going to take up some screen space. So our again, our goal is to have this uh, sidebar flow to the bottom or right below this uh, main article container. So I'm going to go back to my desktop view and now I'm going to go into my layout mode and this is where I'm going to be able to you know kind of set uh, some behaviors on the page on how I want it to react when it's viewed on smaller screen, uh, screen sizes. So I'm going to go to the iPad view. I'm actually going to rotate it and from here we can simply uh, select the container and I'm just going to drag it all the way over to the right. And now I'm just going to take that sidebar and just have it take up the entire screen size. So now when this page is viewed on an iPad, it's going to come out in this layout versus a desktop. We still have the sidebar on the right hand side. And to check my phone uh, size, it's, it didn't uh, do it there. So I'm just going to uh, do the same thing drag it over to pre pre present this viewing experience. So now, no matter what uh, mobile device user is uh, using while they're browsing your website, our page will load like this. So this will make it a bit easier uh, for them. It won't be as annoying to deal with you know, that uh, sidebar, taking up some of that precious screen space on those smaller uh, devices. Right. And I wanted to quickly uh, demonstrate, you know, what an actual filled out page would look like um, switching screen sizes using that same template. We worked with that, as you can see, in this desktop uh, viewing mode. We saw this sidebar on the right hand side with our article uh, taking up the majority of the page. So if we now move to an iPad view, we can see the article takes up the entire uh, screen size and our sidebar is now moved to the very bottom. Great, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, if you liked it, please give this video a like, uh, please subscribe, and have a nice day.